In front of his home crowd against India, he took three wickets in eight balls as India were reduced to naught for four wickets in their second innings. Many equally destructive performances were to follow, none more so than a spell of five for naught against Australia at Leeds in 1961. To Bobby Simpson, who's bowled, offering a pretty flowery stroke, six wickets gone. In this spell, Freddie Truman, three for none. Four for none, a tremendous match-winning spell. Richie Benno, poor man, has bagged a pair. So we'll see if that obdurate man Mackay can stick. He can't, it's all over, he's caught behind. It's tremendous, five wickets for no runs. In terms of statistics, Freddie Truman's greatest feat to date in a test match, and it's completely swung this match. Fred was leading the way again in 1963 at Edgbaston against the West Indies. This time, a 24-ball spell yielded six wickets for just four runs. It's another one, four for none. Wes Hall very comprehensively bowled. Is it out? Yes, the umpire taking time. Griffith out as well. Nothing can stop Truman now for a second time in his test career. Five wickets for no runs. And Solomon swings and he's caught behind and it's six wickets in this spell for four runs. The records began to tumble and in 1964 at the Oval, Truman became the first bowler to take 300 test wickets. That's it, he's out! Truman's got it, 300 test wickets! And the batsman, the first to applaud him.